Hi there. I'm back with um, doing some readings of the letters that we um, started a couple of weeks ago. And uh, first I want to do a little bit of my spiel really fast about subscribing to my channel and liking it and, and uh, clicking the notification button just so that you don't miss um, a um, any broadcast in the future. And again, um, I do need, um, I'm trying to get to a thousand subscribers so that I can um, start doing uh, live broadcasts and so that we can, um, at least with some of you, so we can um, uh, interact and, and you can ask me questions um, and all in live time and I can't do that until YouTube is not going to allow me to do that until I have a uh, thousand subscribers so uh, that's a magic number so uh, you know click the, the, the subscribe button it's on the right hand side under the um, screen here um, it's red and um, also sign up for notifications which is a little bell and uh, please make comments and um, uh, like the video too which which kind of um, gives it um, some legs so to speak so I really appreciate it that's a way to to uh, help me get this channel um, grow this channel um, so thank you in advance and um, Let's see, today I would like to read a letter from um, Alexandra, this time to Lily Den. She was writing to her regularly too, not just um, Anna. Um, and the letter is dated um, the 29th of November of 1917. So, um, 29th November 1917, Tobolsk. My dearest. I am for such a very, very long time without news of you, and I feel sad. Have you received my postcard of the 28th October? Everybody is well. My heart is not up too much, fit at times, but on the whole, it is better. I live very quietly and seldom go out as it, as it is too difficult to breathe in frozen air. Of course, they're in Siberia, and it's uh, November. By the end of November, again, it's very cold. Lessons as usual. News from Petrograd. T is as always. Zina has been to see her, and O V, which is very sad. She is always praying. Father Makari passed on on the 19th of July. Now, um, this is something that she mentioned to Anna also in her last letter that was around the same time. Um, I still haven't been able to figure out who Father Makari is. If you know, please comment below um, so that I can add that in to um, perhaps my, my post on Facebook, or just so we know for, for, uh, for the future who this Father Makari is. Rumors have it that Garyanov has married, but we do not know whether it is true. Aunt Baby drew this herself. She called herself Aunt Baby to um, Lily and sometimes even to Anna. That was her nickname. I don't know whether uh, the nickname was given by uh, Lily's uh, little son, Titi. Um, that's possible, so she kind of refers to herself in the third person um, as Aunt Baby. Um, I'm s assuming that there's a drawing included with this letter because she says Aunt Baby drew this herself, so I don't have the drawing. So, And the next thing um, she asks is, how is Titi? So uh, most likely th this is a, a nickname that, that little Titi had given her. Uh, Granny, I want to know such, such a lot. How is Count Keller? Have you seen him in Kharkov? The present events are so awful for words, shameful and almost funny, but God is merciful, darling. Soon we shall be thinking of those days you passed with us. My God, what remembrances. 
Matryosha has married. They are now all in P, but the brother is at the front. I believe she's talking about Matryosha. She's talking about Rasputin's um, daughter, Matryona, uh, Maria Rasputina. And uh, she did marry um, a guy named Boris Solovyov, and um, who later will uh, be involved, or at that, I mean, around that same time, is involved in um, a plot to possibly save them. Um, it's a little bit unclear as to what happened. I know he was collecting money, and, and there are some theories that he was a double agent, that he um, uh, took the money and, and took off with it, or that he honestly, that it honestly failed. Um, it's really unclear as to what what was going on. Uh, but that was, Boris Solovyov was um, uh, Maria Rasputina's husband and they got married um, around this time at the end of 1917. <clears throat> I read a lot, embroider and draw. I have to do it all with my spectacles. I'm so old. I think of you often and always pray fervently for you and love you tenderly. I kiss you very, very much. May Christ protect you. Your countryman is at Vladivostok, and Nicholas Yakovlevich is, I think, also in Siberia. I believe she's talking about one of the wounded patients that they knew from Tsarskoye Silo. I am so lonely without you all. Where is your husband and his friends? We are still expecting Isa and the others. Now, Isa is, um, as you probably know, Sophie Buxhoeveden, and she um, she was supposed to arrive in the Tobolsk at the time, um, which she does shortly after this letter. I kiss Titi tenderly. Right, I am waiting so. Verveen always reminds me of you. Now, Verveen is a uh, perfume toilet water that um, Alexandra used. And that's it for that letter. So um, she didn't um, sign off or anything. She didn't uh, um, say, you know, goodbye and, and, um, and sign herself Alexandra. It was just sort of like, Verveen always reminds me of you. And that's that's um, the end of the letter. Um, so it's kind of an interesting letter. It gives some some information about different things. Um, and uh, she talks a little bit about the, um, the their life in uh, Tobolsk, but uh, not too much. And at this point, this is just, uh, just after the Bolsheviks took over. Um, the government in St. Petersburg, so things haven't changed much. Um, they'll live quietly for a while still. Um, uh, not until after the new year will, will they start to really feel um, things changing because of the new government. Once once the, the new government sort of gains strength and, and um, are more stable, they, they, that's when they kind of remember about their Romanovs and, and um, decide to, to, to do something, to, 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 to uh, make some changes. Um, so that's that. So um, as I told you before, um, I'll try to show you some interesting things I have um, during uh, these readings and um, one of the things I want to show you is uh, this coloring book that I got at the um, Fedorovsky Cathedral in one of my visits and uh, it's um, it's called uh, the Cathedrals and Churches of Tsarska Silo so basically inside them you see different um, different churches local churches that you can uh, color um, so, for example, I've been to a couple of these. So, let's see. Here's Namania Church that you can color. And let me see if I can find Fedorovsky itself. And here it is. Yep. So, it's a cute little book. This is all of them um, shown in color so that you can, uh, you can use that as a, as a template. 
Um, and I guess it's meant to be for kids, but hey, you know, adults color too. So it's a it's a it's a fun little book. And um, and uh, you know, I, I did get it at the um, gift uh, shop at Fyodorovsky Cathedral, which is kind of nice. Um, so it's a nice little, uh, as you can see, I haven't colored anything, but it's a nice little uh, souvenir for myself. I, I got it for myself, basically. It wasn't a um, scan, a couple of them, and, and post them uh, in the um, uh, in a group. And that way, if anybody wants to print it out and color it, colorize it yourself, uh, you, you'll be welcome to. Um, I don't think I'm... Uh, I don't think I'm going to be breaking any copyright laws. Who knows? I don't know. But that might be a fun thing to do. Um, if you um, if you think you might want to do that, um, comment. Let me know. Just below here. And uh, again, don't forget to subscribe. And don't forget to sign for, up for notifications so you don't miss me. You don't want to do that. Thank you for listening. Bye.